Uh, that was a nice break. I needed that. Just a bit of time off the bike. It's just nice. Helps you reset, recalibrate. So, where are we now? A Carrick Forest Drive in 10 miles. So that's one of the forest drives that I was talking about. Wow, look at that over there. Bloody stunning. Love in this place. It's just view after view. It's beauty all of, all the way along, isn't it? Wild camping. Look, excellent, excellent. Three young chaps having a bit of a wild camp, and that is their backdrop. Wow, look at that. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh yes, I remember this. I remember this. I checked this out on the map. I remember that place there. There's loads of people fishing. Thank you, sir. This place is just phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Loch Doon. There's so much of Scotland that you just look at it and go, this is a very special area. But look at that. That is an incredibly special area, isn't it? as well you know coming here to me I, I find the countryside and everything far more interesting than going to Picos going to Picos is you know a proper event and I think everybody should give it a go because it's fantastic it really is fantastic but this is on your doorstep you don't really need to go there to get beautiful riding and just epic scenery I mean, this scenery is, it rivals anywhere I've ever been. Thank you, officer. It was a good job I didn't have my GoPro arm's length there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I was doing what, officer? Uh, it doesn't matter which way you look. It's just special everywhere. The secret is out. Southwest Scotland. Just can't take my eyes off it. Can't take my eyes off of you. You're just too good to be true. I need to go to the loo. Come on, you're alright. Jesus, how big do you think that car is, mate? What's that thing? Loch Doon Castle. Loch Doon Castle. It really is just. I'm absolutely loving this. You know how I kept saying that on Northumberland? Well, ooh, ditto, you know. Oh, this is the Forest Park Trail. Yay! So we're into a bit of rough stuff, but it ain't all that, is it? It ain't all that. It's not like, you know, it's not like proper off-roading or nothing. It's just trails. Oh. flying the ointment ain't it so I need to work out where the next waypoint is and I need to work out how I'm gonna get there 
That's a bit of a bugger. Closed, I ended up at a place called Straighten. Uh, took the Newton Stewart Road south. Uh, there was a lot of single track, a lot of B roads. It was gorgeous. It was such a lovely route. I ended up on the A734, which was back on my route, and then continued on along gorgeous country lanes through rolling countryside and the pink sunshine. It was utterly, utterly fantastic. I went through a place called Bar through Colmonel, coming out on the A77, just north of Ballantrae. Look at that! Oh Christ! Oh Christ! This place. I've got to go and get a picture of that. Ferry to Ireland out there. You won't see that, I don't think. River Stinchar. So we saw that earlier, didn't we?
time for a rest. Is this thing on? Right, so we are now, uh, well we're having a bit of a rest actually. Um, the riding has just been absolutely amazing. I'm just going to move that camera. It's alright. The riding up to now today has been, well, spectacular. If I was going to compare it with uh, Northumberland, I'd say uh, I'd say it's marginally better, but then I was doing a set route in Northumberland. Uh, if I was to go back, then I would do, do just different roads, the same as I've done here, I'd plan my own route. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do next time when I come up. Um, so I think I'm either going to spend seven to ten days up here. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that would be the ideal sort of time. It'd be, it'd be knackering, but at least then I can sort of uh, do less miles per day. I'm cramming a lot in on these rides. <laughs> I've, been, I've been riding since 7.30 this morning. It's been non-stop. Um, but it's just so epic. You just don't want to stop, really. I mean, the only times I've stopped was to take photos. I've had, I've had a couple of breaks, you know, just small breaks. This is the longest one I've had today. Um, so we're just south of Isla Craig on the coast. Um, Ballantrae. Uh, so we've just, we've just come through Ballantrae. I just got some some drinks from there. I was feeling a bit headachey and a, a little bit nauseous. I think it's just just the heat and we're in Gore-Tex in this heat. It's just crazy. It's 25 degrees now. Um, <coughs> yeah, it takes its toll. Tomorrow's going to be particularly tough going home because uh, it's going to be up to about 30 degrees. Uh, the only saving grace is that I'm going to be on faster roads so the airflow around me will probably be better, but it's, ju it's just going to be warm air anyway. Thank God I don't have a rucksack or anything on today. We're going to go do a few more miles. I, I, I mean, this is just going to follow the coast down. Um, that road there is just going to follow the coast down for a bit. So we'll, we'll head down the coast for a bit, toward, heading towards Stranra. Uh, we just saw the ferry sailing out, actually. Uh, and then I'll decide from Stranra where I want to go after that. Um, I may take a short um, trip just to the very south coast again. Um, someone told me about somewhere down there called Port Ellen or somewhere like that. I can't remember what it was called. But uh, I may think about heading down there. I'll see how I feel. See how I feel. Uh, I don't want to do a lot more. Um, but God, the roads are just absolutely sublime absolutely brilliant riding brilliant brilliant riding i absolutely love this place you kept this from us didn't you you scottish riders you kept this a secret you cheeky little buggers well secrets out now because um you know anybody watching these videos you're going to want to come up here if you don't i mean these, these for me these are the best roads i've ridden in the uk without a doubt the best roads i've ridden in the uk Regardless of the rest of Scotland, you know, just forget about that because now with the, the North Coast 500 being so popular, you know, six quid for a cup of tea, forget that. Don't want, I, I just don't want it. And I don't want to be sitting in queues of motorhomes, you know, battling to get past them to get in, into a bit of flow when you're on the bike. Here, it's just been, whichever road you're on, I mean, most of the motorists just pull over and let you go by them. They put their indicator on and wave you by. That's that's just amazing. Um, and then you get you just get onto those roads, and then you can just achieve that state of flow, just being being at one with your bike, getting on top of your mind control and all the rest of it, and just uh, it's it's so different. It's so different to what you're used to when you're used to battling against traffic all the time. You know, you constantly, even on, you know, when I go out to Lincolnshire, you're constantly coming up against traffic all the time. Here, I mean, I know this road's busy. This is one of the main roads, though. Uh, I think that's the A75. Um, so that is 
very busy uh, from Dunfermline to Stranra because of the ferry you know it's really busy because of that but uh, you know apart from that the the back roads the lanes are <laughs> just epic they're just epic right let's get back on the bike I've done enough waxing lyrical about this beautiful beautiful place um, and we'll do a few more miles um, see you in a bit mega busy around here as, as you imagine really well I say mega busy compared to the rest of this area <laughs> it's still not you know it's still not what you call over busy is it
Euro Pro. Excellent. This is Raiders Road. Raiders Road. So we're heading off folks, heading off home, uh, got a long route planned, 336 miles to get home. We're heading up, I can't remember the name of the place, I'll put it on the screen now. Anyway, we're heading up there and then we turn up, there's a little Himalayan there, and then we turn off just before we head south. So the road that we're heading towards is one that was in the Bikers Britain book. I'll put the page number up now as well. And we're going to do that road from, oh, Selkirk, that was the name of the place. So we're going to do that road heading south. Uh, and then once we've done that, we'll just get on track and just blast it down south. Yeah, let's get on with it. I'm quite excited about this route today. It, it's going to be very much more of the same what we did yesterday. And yesterday was just, well, it was brilliant. Absolutely superb. So after an epic trip from Castle Douglas go. across to Selkirk, to heading northeast, what? up through the Dalveen Pass, I eventually ended up on the B709. Low Hill House. So this is it, this is the start of the route. This is where I'm going to have a break. That's quite handy. So just stopping for a break, uh, this now is the start of the road that I've been trying to get to for the last two and a half hours. <laughs> oh god, set off at seven, seven o'clock we set off this morning and it's now half nine I think. Partly because it just kept wanting to send us up, um, there are actually farm tracks, so some of it was uh, forest track, uh, some of it was farm track, I don't, I just some of it was private and I think the farm track you can't just ride farm tracks in um, the forest tracks I mean you can't just ride forest tracks in Scotland without permission I'm pretty certain so it's hard work just trying to find a way through just to get to this point but from this point now 
we're just heading due south. This is the road it was in the Bikers Britain book. I just thought it's too good to miss. You know, while I'm up here, I might as well do it. So we've got a long way to go. So five hours, five hours, 40 minutes, 245 miles left to do. So I'm gonna have this break now. Uh, and then there's a guy on Facebook, forgotten your name, Paul, I'm certain it's Paul. Uh, he, recommended a place to me just this side of Alston, so the north side of Alston, called the Nook. Um, so I'm going to stop here now, hopefully I'll get all the way through to that stop um, before I have to stop again. I'm, I'm not planning on stopping much today, so I'm going to stop there at Alston and then I might have to stop for a wee once we get down onto the A1, the other side of Darlington. We'll see, we'll see how it goes from there. I just needed to get off the bike a minute because the, the bed in the hotel was a bit too soft, I think. There, there were new beds. The hotel was, you know, it was what it was, I suppose you could say. But I think next time, next time I'm going to come up, if I come for a week to 10 days, depending on how much it's going to cost at this time of year, I might look at what I did uh, when I went to Scotland and, and get a glamping pod. Because uh, I think they're just such a smart idea, you know, they're self-catering. They're self yeah, they can be a bit expensive, a bit on the pricey side, but you can park your bike right outside. You can sort your own food out, you know, all the facilities are there on the site. I don't know, I, I'm going to uh, have a think about that and do, do a bit of research as well over the coming months and see if I can get something sorted out basically for that because I definitely want to come to this area and to Northumberland again and, and just spend more time just traveling these roads because I tell you what it's just brilliant it's just brilliant I, I've tried to cram so much into yesterday well it, it, every day really I've tried to cram such a lot into this trip and it's difficult you know when you're just away for two nights to try and cram in quite as many miles is it's difficult. I had to cut yesterday short because I just didn't have enough time, really. And, uh, you know, you get tired because these roads take a lot of travelling. These roads take a lot of travelling and uh, you don't get anywhere that quickly. Even though it feels like you're going really fast on, on the twisties, you're not really. <laughs> you're not really going that fast. Um, but yeah, they're, it's just awesome fun. It's just brilliant up here. Sorry, Scottish bikers, your secret's out now. It's all over YouTube. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna finish my coffee, get back on the bike and head off and see what this lane's all about. So I'll see you in a minute.
was worth the long ride to do this road. The scenery was beautiful and the twist is excellent. From the wide open glens through forests, eventually finishing off in Langholm. Thanks to everyone for watching. Please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.